card games, fun online digital books, coloring pages, and lots more. Help us to have a great foundation for our study of music. Did you know that our muscles can remember? Learning any instrument is an exercise for both our minds and our muscles. There isn't any aha moment here. But if you stick with me, you will see that a series of paradigm shifts will happen in your thinking. And with those little tweaks of how you see the process of music education, your life could actually change. Not because you are taking lessons, but because you are understanding the process better. And that process could potentially leak into your entire life. First, your mind and your muscles are instructed. Next, your mind and your muscles remember what the instruction was and begin to apply it. Once you acquire information, 66% is lost by the next day. 100% is lost in a month. Learning doesn't just happen by simply hearing or simply doing. Your mind and your muscles don't know anything. They haven't been shown or done. Your mind and your muscles can't teach or use anything they don't remember. There are methods of improving both the acquiring of information and the remembering of it. I'm using music education in the form of the series Scales Aren't Just the Fish Thing, where I teach music theory, as a catalyst for learning to put into action subtle life lessons understanding the layers to your unique learning style. Understanding how we are mentally wired and why we make the choices we do. Choices that can sabotage our happiness. Or choices toward fulfillment. Learning how to provide believable praise. How we process information character traits that influence our learning, practice styles that don't work, and practice styles that work like magic. Lots of great mental images to allow quick retrieval of lessons. If you have done it all correctly, what you have learned is in there. You simply need to know where to go to find it. Simplification of complex concepts so that even a two-year-old can understand music theory and read music through scales aren't just a fish thing. All at once and through subliminal triggers you learn technique, music theory, how to read music, how to memorize, and how to understand the unique layers of learning. Did you know there is a process to making our learning complete? Sorry to say, but if you jump out of the process at any point, previous learning is lost. Imagine that you are walking along a beach, picking up seashells. You gather all the pretty shells you could find and you put them into a bag. You get home and set all the shells out on the table in a row. Good, bad, and ugly. No filtering system. That's what mental accommodation is like. Our minds just take it all in and make room for it. Next, you start to become discerning. You ask yourself, do I already have this identical shell? Is this shell broken? You toss all the duplicate shells and the broken ones. You find a bottle cap 
That's not a shell. You toss it. In a similar way, your mind assimilates or filters the information you've gathered. You begin to filter according to your worldview, belief system, value system, moral code, accommodation followed by assimilation is the path our mind takes when we learn something new. Accommodation creates short-term memory. Assimilation creates long-term memory and learning. You can't have one without the other. When we accommodate information, we simply add the new information to what we already know. No filtering. Our minds just accept it. Accommodation causes our thinking to become cluttered. Information is repeated. In fact, accommodation fills our minds with facts we don't believe that fall outside our worldview, value system, and moral code. Assimilation, on the other hand, is a time of purging. Assimilation is the discerning filter. This process is ongoing. Everything we do is a process of gathering information, followed by mentally filing that information. At one point during the process, we start to have short circuits, little glitches in our thinking. It's true. Once you have memorized a song and start to polish it, did you ever notice how you stumble? Making mistakes when you try to add complicated technique or additional embellishment. You start to feel like all that work memorizing was for nothing. At this point, celebrate. Solid learning has begun.